Hello, my name is uh, Vishal Rain. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to model a curtain with a uh, loft tool and some other simple modeling tools. So here in the scene, I've got a wall uh, with a window uh, sort of hole and then we have a curtain rod and brackets. So there's nothing fancy about this model because uh, we have to majorly concentrate on the curtain so let's get started so mainly I would uh, be using the loft tool here first for that we need the curve so I go to CV curve tool and it is uh, preferably three cubic curve so I'm just uh, so let me see uh, how this scene is okay so yeah so I'll just use the CV curve tool and then uh, draw a curve. So I'm starting somewhere from here, uh, right below the rod. So these waves are uh, very important and number of waves what I've create here is uh, limited so there are four I just uh, go for five some small some big like that okay so you can choose a center pivot and then maybe scale if the waves amplitude is too high and then put that below the rod so I just uh, select these three pieces slightly pull it out and then rod below it and there are two cylinder models there as I said nothing fancy about it it's a very simple model okay so that I've got this uh, first curve here uh, make sure that this curve is uh, at the right place maybe you can uh, slightly make it round like that Now use the CV curve tool and this time I'll draw a curve which has got more waves than comparing to the first curve. And be uh, very irregular don't be uniform there so once I've got this maybe if I feel the amplitude is high slightly I can reduce it I'm using the center pivot and then scaling it in the axis in which uh, the amplitude can be reduced select this both of the curves go to the loft tool and uh, using the loft apply the loft I'll be using polygon output and in the type I don't want the triangles I want the quads output then a uh, tessellation method there are four types so I'll be choosing general and then choose per span number of isoparams and then set that to 3 and 3 so you need to set in both and then you get the model here right now I'm not worried about the uh, normals okay uh, I'll just assign a different color so that I can see it clearly so I'm using the Lambert and then just giving a different color there we go now 
I just select the tessellation a loft tool uh, options increase the subdivisions of the tool let's say later if you want to do slight simulation uh, this will be of great help so I've got the result and I just slightly move it up and precisely below the rod now once that is achieved I'm selecting the first edge here I'm selecting the last edge there and I'm going to the side view and then I'm holding shift and I'm dragging it like that so that gives me an extrude uh, for time being I select this object put it into a layer hide it hide them so that we can concentrate on this one piece there maybe I can choose the rod slightly here because it should uh, be going around like that now select the edges okay hold shift and drag it then rotate that like that then hold shift drag it rotate shift rotate now if, if you feel that it's a lot of volume then you can maybe scale it and make it less thicker so use the scale tool and then keep it thin then hold shift drag it maybe you can extend and keep it for stitching but uh, this is very um, this perspective suggests uh, not much concentrate there use insert edge loop tool and then just give a nice blend there and uh, okay now what I do is once I got uh, the shape here I'm using insert edge loop tool again move it there insert edge loop tool move it there okay now it, it just goes nice over the rod now select the vertex points any row or loop basically go to edit mesh use the transform tool here you have a value called random increase that to 1 and select the z-axis and then move it okay so when you move it they move randomly do it once again for the other loop move it outside transform move it outside now you if you see uh, if I press 3 on the keyboard to get the smooth mesh preview you get that nice uh, small frequency folds or sorry high frequency folds there uh, at the top and you do you have low frequency on the lower side uh, you can select one of the line here move it more inside give them a nice transition just by 
scaling that way and here at this particular line I'll add one loop on both sides and select the middle one and then slightly move it inside and then you got the curtain there so this is uh, basically uh, done with uh, modeling tools I have not used any dynamic tools where I saw very uh, less control over the details so this should be a very um, you know controlled curtain a very decent looking curtain model here hope you like this video thank you and please subscribe this video